In this tutorial, I am going to discuss the projections of planes problem. The problem is something like this. A square plane ABCD of side 50 mm is resting on one of its side in the HP with surface making an angle of 30 degrees to HP. The edge of which is making, on, making an angle of 45 degrees to VP. Draw its projection. Now, after reading the problem, we will extract the information about the surface. Okay. Surface is 30 degrees to HP. This is the given data. And next you, you extract the information about the edge. Edge is making 45 degrees to VP. 45 degrees to VP. Surface is making 30 degrees to HP. Now, next information given about edge is uh, edge on the HP. This is the data given. After extracting this data carefully from the problem, what you have to do is uh, you decide uh, decide how to draw this simple position. Simple position will be something like this. In the simple position, what you have to do is uh, surface is inclined to HP. So keep the surface. parallel to give the surface parallel to HP ok next what about the edge edge is 45 degrees to VP so keep the edge perpendicular to VP that means what you are doing the simple position is if the surface is inclined to HP you have to keep the surface parallel to HP and when the edge is inclined to VP, you have to keep the edge perpendicular to VP. And uh, if you see this condition, edge on the HP. So edge on the HP and you are you are keeping one edge on the HP and you are keeping entire surface parallel to HP means automatically the entire surface lies on the horizontal plane. So your top view will be some distance in front of the VP and the front view lies on the xy plane because the entire surface is lying on the horizontal plane now we will see how to draw this problem this is about the data extraction now draw the xy line something like this this is the xy line somewhere here i will take the y this is my xy line now when the surface is parallel to hp when the surface is parallel to hp you will get the true shape and size of the surface in the top view so you have to start the problem from the top view the distance of the surface from the vertical plane is not given you can take any distance now we will take some distance from vp and i will draw the top view of the square like this this is A, B, C and D. I am keeping this edge perpendicular to VP because this edge is uh, the edge AD is my reference edge now. This edge AD is making an angle 45 degrees with VP. That's why I am keeping this edge perpendicular to VP. That means in the top view you can draw this perpendicular to XY. Now from the top view you have to project the front view. This side dimension is from 30. Okay, now I am projecting the front view. The front view starts from the xy line because one edge of the surface is in the HP. That condition you have to maintain. Keeping that edge in the HP, if you make the surface parallel, automatically entire surface will lie on the horizontal plane. When the surface is on the horizontal plane and you are seeing from the front, total surface will lie on the xy line. So something like this, you will get the front view. This is A dash, D dash, this is B dash and C dash. Okay. Now in the second stage, what you have to do is you have to keep the surface inclination. Okay. Now I'm the surface inclination is some 30 degrees, that's why I'll draw on 30 degree line like this. 
this angle is 30 degrees this point is a dash comma b dash now you take this distance with compass draw an arc taking a dash as center draw an arc somewhere here you will get the torque so automatically this point will become b dash and d dash the excess portion you can erase okay now from this front view this is the second front view so in the second stage you are going you have already represented the surface inclination when the surface is inclined to hp you will get the reduced shape in the top view that reduced shape you have to obtain to get the reduced shape that draw, draw the projectors like this from the front view and draw the locus planes from this top view like this now this is the locus of a this is the projector of a dash somewhere here you will get point a this is locus of b this is projector of b dash somewhere here you will get b b similarly here you will get c this point is d now this is the reduced top in the second stage now observe here this ad is our difference this particular edge ad is making an angle of 45 degrees with vp that edge inclination you have to represent in the third stage to represent the edge inclination i will take a 45 degree line like this this angle is 45 degrees from somewhere here i will start reconstructing this figure this point i will assume as some d now take this distance d as center draw an arc somewhere here you will get point a now ab is perpendicular to ad so you draw perpendicular to this ad like this this is 90 degrees angle now this point is b this dc is also perpendicular to da so here also you draw on perpendicular you take this distance draw an arc taking d as center here you will get c this point is c join like this this is the reconstructed figure now to get the final front view what you have to do is i am just uh, highlighting the final top view now to get the final front view you draw the projectors from this top view and locus lines from this front view now i am drawing a projector from a like this this is the locus from a dash this is final a dash point now i will draw one more projector from b this is locus from b dash and this is final b dash point and this is projector from c this is <coughs> oh sorry this is uh, b dash comma c dash this is locus of c dash somewhere here you will get c dash this is d project of d locus of d dash will be somewhere here this is the d dash point now a dash b dash c dash and d dash this is the final front view this final front view you have to draw as thick line final front view and final top view you have to draw as thick lines remaining front views and top views you have to draw as normal lines projectors and locus lines and xy lines you have to draw as thin lines 